and when the teeth will shed. So the first teeth will erupt. It will be the incisor, the front one. These, can you see the red and the orange color teeth? These teeth will erupt first. So someone will say that my uh, my kid's teeth erupt in uh, one year. No problem. They will start from six months to one to one year. Sometimes it erupts in four months. It doesn't matter. So you can keep this list to know when it will erupt and when it will shed. I don't know how to remove this one. Okay. Can you see the molar teeth? These molar teeth, there is some X. This X means it's fissures, grooves. These teeth, you should take good care of it because the food is stuck on them. It's better when it starts to erupt properly. The parents will take the kit to the doctor and put fissure sealant. This fissure sealant is like a layer protecting this groove from food to stuck in. Every six months to one year, you can put this layer of sealant. You also can make a fluoride seal. It's like a, a toothpaste. The doctor will put it in the whole teeth so it will become strong, especially for kids who's having weak teeth. So we will name them the grooves. Now this is for elder kids. Also, you can take a screenshot of this one. It is very important to have it. This is the primary teeth and these are the permanent teeth when it will erupt, especially the permanent teeth when they will erupt, you should take very good care of them because once you will lose the primary teeth, the permanent teeth, you are losing them. They will not come back. You will replace these teeth with many techniques. So for the primary teeth, if you lose them anyway, you will lose them in these ages. If you lose them in earlier ages, because of caries or fall down or any damage, you have to go to the doctor and they will put in these spaces, the space of the lost teeth, a maintainer. This maintainer will keep this space for the permanent teeth to erupt in the same place so it will not be dislocated. For the primary teeth, when it will erupt, you should not make them or damage them. Thumb sucking is one of the behaviors that kids are using when they are sleeping, sitting. For primary teeth that recently erupted, it can drastically change the growth pattern of the jaw. The jaw is the bone which is teeth are in and cause significant misalignment of teeth. Can you see the misalignment? It came in front. This is the jaw and these are the teeth. If you use thumb sucking, you should stop because your teeth will look like these. Now, regarding tooth cavities or hygiene. There are conditions to have cavities. There are permanent condition, which is time, bacteria, and sustainable tooth. These are already available. The new condition which will come and will cause the cavity is the sugar. So when you stop sugar or when you clean your teeth from the sugar, you will cut the sequence of this conditions. The cavity will not be there. So four conditions should be there together to cause the cavities. Sustainable tooth, time, 
bacteria sugar time, that means it will take time and then the cavity will start. So should, you should broke these conditions and stop sugar to enter the grooves or the teeth. Now let's talk about toothbrushing. With your toothbrush, apply the toothpaste. It's very simple. When you brush, you will smile and then start brushing. Brush your tongue. Don't forget to brush your tongue at the end. Rinse your mouth from outside, not totally inside, or a little bit, so you will remove the excess. You shouldn't remove all the fluoride. Or you can rinse once. Don't swallow the water and don't swallow the toothpaste. Just spit. Turn the water off. Put your brush away. And don't forget there is a floss. You can, especially for kids who's having closed teeth near to each other, you can use the floss to remove the excess of the food. I'll put one video for you so you can see how to brush teeth. In this video, we'll show you the best way not only to brush your own teeth, but also how to easily brush the teeth of others. Toothbrushing should be carried out twice a day, in the morning and last thing at night. We must remember that not everyone can brush their own teeth. But when brushing other people's teeth, the principles are the same. Please remember that toothbrushing takes a full two minutes. Yes, two minutes. Use a small headed, medium texture bristles toothbrush with a small amount of fluoride toothpaste. Start by tilting the toothbrush against your teeth so the bristles are at a 45 degree angle to the gum line. Move the brush in small circular movements a few times on each tooth. Next, brush the outer surfaces of each tooth, keeping the bristles angled against the gum line. Do the same thing for the inside surfaces of all the teeth. Now, brush the biting surfaces of the teeth on the top and the bottom. To clean the inside surface of the front teeth, tilt the brush vertically for the upper teeth. Gently move the brush long ways down the tooth from the gum for a few seconds. For the lower teeth, tilt the brush vertically and pull the toothbrush gently upwards from the gum for a few seconds. If plaque is not removed from the teeth, it leads to bleeding gums and tooth loss. If you eat or drink sweet things, plaque mixes with the sugar and causes tooth decay. Finally, spit out any remaining toothpaste. Do not rinse the mouth with water or any kind of mouthwash. In this way, the fluoride in the toothpaste will help protect the teeth. Now, getting kids to brush their teeth for two minutes. Two minutes, two times. During these two minutes, you can put like a music or um, alarm next to you that you will know that these two, two minutes has been gone two times a day, teaching them to take care of their teeth can help install a lifetime for healthy habit. It may help to encourage your child that toothbrushing is fun. You shouldn't enforce him to do brushing. For everyone also, use it as a funny, a fun way or a play games. Cause the sticky plaque will stuck on your grooves this which i told you and then you cannot remove them you should remove them once you can eat chocolate once you want to eat but you have to wash your teeth after it directly brush your teeth especially inside upper and lower teeth there are many games and apps online to make brushing 
more fun. You can install them in your iPad or phone. Now, for the KG kids, mothers, you can pick, uh, let the kids to pick up his uh, own toothbrush and toothpaste. There is many colorful and uh, favorites toothpaste with a soft bristles, toothbrush, soft toothbrush. So they will enjoy brushing. And there is a lot of colors and cartoon characters, but make sure that they are in ADA seal. There is ADA seal, that means it is acceptable to be sure that they do what they say. Okay. When you should brush your teeth or your some teeth, it should be brushed once they appear, as soon as they appear. For children less than three years, use a child size toothbrush and just a small amount of toothpaste, like a grain of rice, very small amount, a grain of rice. This is less than three years. Don't put too much toothpaste on the brush. For the age between three and six, you can make it a little bigger, like a pea size amount. To begin brushing, place the toothbrush at 45 degrees, as we said, and then start brushing. Place the toothpaste and brush your front teeth. For inside, it will be vertically. Don't forget to brush the inner surface vertically and from outside at 45 degrees. For the chewing surface, which is inside, you should also brush. There is a way that you will know that you finish brushing. Count 20 on each surface, like for chewing surface, you should count 20 for each teeth. Give each teeth, each tooth the right, it's right to be brushed. brushing very well, like 20 times on your each tooth surface brush, for each apply tooth. the toothpaste. It's very simple. Then, after that, after six, the, the kids can be supervised by themselves by playing a timer with a favorite song or video for two minutes. You can make a reward chart and add the stickers for every time that the kids are brushing teeth for two minutes as well. Once brushing become a daily habit, it will be much easier to get your child to brush. There is some tips in brushing, like brushing together. Brushing together, make it as a family activity. So he or she will recognize that it's something we all do. Videos and books on brushing teeth. There is a lot. You can read stories for brushing teeth before sleeping. There are a lot of fun rhymes and videos in the internet. Brushing games. There are also apps, games for brushing teeth. Sometimes also you can dance and play while brushing. It will be like also uh, play with the bubbles. Brushing in front of mirror. You can make different noises in front of the mirror. For example, when you brush the front teeth, you can make a special noise and for the back ones also another noise. Using a colorful brush and favorite paste, as we said. And don't make it a long time. Make it short for small kids. Don't force the child if he resists a lot to brush his teeth. They are allowed to chew the brush. Keep them, let them chew the brush. It's fine. And play with the water inside the washroom. Even making some mess, it's fine. As long as he's brushing. Once they are done, you will offer your help to brush the, the teeth after him them or during the time they are brushing their teeth, you can interfere in between to make sure that they brush all the teeth. Thank you so much. 
I hope you like the video and uh, if there is any questions. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much you for so much. the beautiful presentation. And I, I think children all are enjoying, but uh, we have muted one second. Kids. Yeah, if you have doubts, you it can. It was ask. really good. Ma'am, Ma yes, it was very good. Yes, yes, it was very good. Yes, it was very good. Yes, it was very Ma'am, it was very good. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Okay, okay, children. Listen, I know it's very good. Anybody have a question? Say, tell your name. Ma'am. You have any question, please type it because all of you are asking at the time. That's beautiful. Everybody have lots of doubt. Very good. So can you uh, type your doubts here? What question you want to ask? On behalf of you, I will ask them. Ask doctor. Any questions you can type. OK, uh, from Arush. Ma'am, do everyone have 32 teeth or not? Not usually, because the wisdom teeth, sometimes they appear to some people and sometimes it will not appear to other people. Okay, thank you. Okay, Arish, really? Next one, Divya Bharti, which is the good toothpaste to brush our teeth? When you see ADA, this is the good one. ADA is a good one. Any anything, any toothbrush with seal ADA. I said that in the presentation as well. Okay, ADA. Okay, fine. Thank you. And Naira, what type of brush we should use? For kids, small kids, they should use soft brush. Very soft. And then you can, it's written there, and each toothbrush, it's written soft. And then... After that, after six years, if you are six years, you can use medium if you if it's not damaging your teeth. If the medium is damaging, go back to the soft one. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, how much toothpaste for nine to eleven? I don't know what this question means. Don't put too much toothpaste. I'm sorry. Don't put too much toothpaste on the brush. Ah, okay. Thank you. Next it's about one. how much you are brushing and the frequently, like one, two, three, four, till twenty for each side, especially the occlusion side, the chewing side. Down twenty for each tooth. Upper twenty, lower twenty, from twenty, 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 20 and even inside. Take your time in brushing. Enjoy it. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, Muhammad Adil. Ma'am, when I brush, I brush inside also. But in inside it is not cleaning. <laughs> he 
He's wow. brushing teeth, but it's not clean. Okay, good. Why? Maybe you are brushing uh, teeth too much. You can pick. You can go to the doctor. Don't leave it like that. Don't ignore your teeth. If you have any problem, you have to visit the dentist, and he will remove the calculus, the colors, anything colored, stain in your teeth. You have to go, and they will remove it. Now there is the uh, universities which doing a free dental for everyone, especially the kids. Thank you. And Hana, we have only 13 teeth. She's KG, KG2. This is a primary teeth. Don't worry, it will uh, be more later. <laughs> okay. Ma'am, I have pain in my teeth. What should I do? What can I do? Abel. Abel, you have to go to the doctor. You have to. Was for sure there will be caries, cavities. If you cannot see it, it, it might be between, in between the teeth. So it will appear. You cannot see it, but it is there. Go visit the doctor. You will do an x-ray for the tooth. And then you will know if there is a cavity. Maria Mohammed, ma'am, I'm 10 years old. Uh, which kind of brush I, I can use, I should use? You can use soft or medium. Try the medium one, if it's fine, go ahead. If it's not, if you feel pain or it's uh, irritating you, go back to the soft one. Okay. Ma'am, my back teeth is breaking. What can I do? Saraya. So I didn't get the question. My back tooth, my back teeth is breaking. What should I do? You should go to the dentist and he will fix it before it will uh, get cavities and caries. Thank you. So my actor, we have to use soft brush. Is it good to use mouthwash? Uh, which type of paste and mouthwash I can use? EDA, any ADA you can use. It's very good. Any toothbrush, any paste, but ADA will be much better. Okay. My name is uh, Arman. My name is Arman. If teeth catches cavity a little bit, then if I brush, it will go. Is no, 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 it will, go. it will not go. You have to go to the doctor directly before it will be more bigger and bigger. And then you will feel pain because this cavity will reach the pulp. What is the pulp? This is the nerve of the teeth. This is where you feel pain. The teeth is having three layers, enamel, dentine, and then the pulp. If it passes the enamel, it will go to the dentine. You will feel a little bit of pain. Sahara Sabil, thank you. Yes, ma'am, please continue. Okay, it, the tooth itself, it's three layers of said, enamel, dentine, and then the pulp. The pulp is where you feel pain, and it when once it will reach the pulp, they will do endo. Endo means they will remove the pulp from its place and fill this cavity. It will be until the root, it will fill the cavity, and then they will close it by restoration. So you shouldn't stop or ignore any broken teeth or any small, very small cavity. As soon as you will take care of the small cavity, it will not be bigger. And the teeth will be weak if the cavity will be big. It might be not fixed. It will not be fixed. They will say that we have to remove it. Depend on the big, big of the cavities. Ma'am, my, my teeth has fallen three to four months before. Still it is not growing. When it will grow? You follow when the list. How old are you? You should you did you take a screenshot of the table I put? When it will fall down and it, when it will erupt, 
there is an age, a specific age between which tooth you have to tell me your age and <laughs> we have to tell you when it will erupt. If you take a screenshot from the one I put, you will know when it will erupt. Okay, thank you. Mohammed Akib is asking, every time after eating candy, if I do mouthwash, whether my teeth will be safe. Sure, you are very good, Mohammed. But <laughs> brush, 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 because uh, washing, uh, only putting some water and throwing is not a solution. You have to brush inside because there is some holes, fissures, sticky food will stuck there. Unless you use the brush, it will be removed. Okay. All right. We have uh, lots of repeated questions there. Same, I think those who are asking about uh, the brush and the toothpaste, I think you all got uh, the reply answers, children. Okay, I want to eat a lot of candies. Is it okay? Yes, yes, you can eat a lot as you are uh, brushing after it directly. And once you will eat the candy or the chocolate, directly brush your teeth to get the sticky sugar away from your teeth. You can eat as much as you can. Uh, also, for the health of your body, you have to move, you have to exercise. So these sugar will go away. You can use it and instead of keeping them in your body and you will be very fat later. It's not good for your health. But for teeth, it's fine to eat the chocolate as much as you can, but you should brush after that. Okay. Thank you so much. There is one point. Yes, yes. There is one point. Chips. Chips, you know chips, chips. Huh? Yes. yes. You should avoid chips. Just chips. You cannot even, if you brush, okay, it will be removed from outside. But the oil of these chips and the color will come from inside. So your teeth will be yellow, not white. It's, you are brushing your teeth regularly after chips, chocolate, candies, it's fine. But exact, especially chips and these things, the coloring will come from inside, not from outside. It will be colored. There will not be caries, but it will be yellow. And yellow in yellow is different. There is light yellow and there is a dark yellow turn to a brown yellow. So avoid the chips as much as you can. Okay. And Tanisha is having a doubt is, are there any exercise for teeth? Are there any what? Is there any exercise for teeth? Exercise, brushing them only. <laughs> Just brush them. Yeah. And, uh, yes. Uh, I'm so sorry. Some somebody asked and it went. I missed it. Yes. Gigi, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. How are you? A, a teacher is having some doubt. Uh, doctor, they will ask you directly. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Gigi, yes. ma'am. Yeah. I said. You are muted, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Some bleeding gum. What should we do, ma'am? Sometimes you shouldn't use this toothpaste. You should use a sensitive toothpaste for a sensitive gum. There is special, special Sensodyne is the best one for me for sensitive gums who's having bleeding. But if it's too much bleeding, you have to go to the dentist. Sometimes they the, uh, the gum is swollen, so they will open and remove some uh, blood from it. If it's really very big, it's swollen. But normally bleeding, you change the toothpaste and change the brush. Try the soft one. And regularly, you have to change the toothpaste. Uh, throw the old brush and try a new one. Use the soft one for everyone. 
keep your tooth the toothbrush for a long time. You have to do it. And also when the brush is like open or uh, broken, destroyed, you have to throw it. Even if they didn't complete three months or even one month, throw the toothbrush and that's a new one. The long time we have to use the, uh, what that is paste, you know, uh, sensodyne toothpaste. It's really good. Sensodyne is a good one, but it's different. There is a, a for sensitive uh, gums, there is for whitening, there is many types. But I prefer sensodyne for the gum. And there is also some uh, sensodyne toothpaste. There is some of them without uh, bubbles. Okay, ma'am, thanks. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Anybody else have anything to ask? Teachers? Hi, ma'am. My name is Bindu. I have two doubts. Excuse me, ma'am. Hi, Bindu. Ma yeah, I'm fine, ma'am. Ma'am, first question, when can our kids start using a fluoride toothpaste and mouthwash? Mouthwash it in the bigger ages, much as but not everyone should use the mouthwash, especially kids who are having closed teeth, there is no space between the teeth, they should use the mouthwash before sleeping. Because uh, when they wake up, their, their mouth will be smelly. Not because they didn't brush their teeth. Because the teeth are closed. There is no space. So th these, these mouths with, with the closed teeth, they should use their mouth before sleeping. And the other question is when they should start brushing. Yeah, fluoride toothpaste. The fluoride is always in the toothpaste. Okay. Ah, you mean the tray, the when you go to the hospital and uh, the, the dentist. Okay. When yes. you have the molars, the back teeth, when it will erupt, you have to go to the doctor, to the dentist. They will make a fluoride paste for like few minutes, like ten to fifteen minutes, five to ten depends on the what they put, which fluoride they are using. Okay, and then you have to cover the occlusion surface, the chewing surface, with a fissure sealant. If you ask the doctor to put the fissure sealant, they will put, especially in six years old, it will erupt the molar. Last two teeth, it's very important to put in these primary teeth fissure sealant. It will protect, it will help, uh, help you to keep the tooth as, as much as you can. Why we are keeping the tooth, by the way? We are keeping the tooth to keep the space for the permanent tooth to come in their places because sometimes uh, it will not erupt on sequences. The back will erupt first and then the front. Yes, ma'am, other question? Thank you. Thank you, Vindu, ma'am. Nice question. Okay, so teachers, anybody have any any questions? What is ADA? Many ADA. Many kids are asking about that. What is ADA? This is the organization, tooth organization name. We have, uh, I think, in uh, UAE there is another organization. I think ADA also. Okay. Okay, children, all clear, no? All right. So, uh, teachers, anybody have anything to ask? Okay, all right then. Ms. Joy? Yes, ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, yes, clearly. Please don't touch oh your mic. Yes, yes, I was uh, out of the session for a while. Okay, thank you so much. I, I think I've, I've heard only half of it. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Fauzia. Thank you so much, teachers and children, for your question. A very interactive and informative session. Thank you so much. So now, can we call on uh, Muhammad Arham from KG1A to give his uh, thank you speech? Yes, 
Muhammad Arham, please on your mic. Hi everyone, this is... Yes. Okay, go ahead, Muhammad Arham. Hi, good morning, doctor. Thank you for coming and guiding us how to take care of our teeth. We follow your instructions. We will brush our teeth two times, morning and night. We will not eat so much candy. After eating, we will brush our teeth. Thank you. You are so kind. Send like a two fairy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Muhammad. That's so cute. Okay, uh, next one is from uh, another thank you speech from KG2 student, uh, Mahin Mazar. Mahin, please turn on your mic, Mahin. Mahin Mazar? Are you here? Uh, Mahin Mazar, did you add him in the... Wait. Yeah, yeah, she's there, ma'am. She was here earlier, I, I saw, before I was out of the team. So she, she was there, added as, she's, whether she's added as presenter? Uh, no, no, ma'am. Can, can, can... I'm, I'm checking. Sure. checking. Yeah, because I'm using phone now. <laughs> I'm checking, I'm checking. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, was thank you. Okay, Mahin. Okay, are you ready, Mahin? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Mums, uh, I have to say the doctor's speech. Yeah, your thank you speech, dear. Thank you. Your thank you speech. Okay. Uh, Mahin, uh, parents, please keep uh, the other child in other room, please. Let Mahin speak. Good morning, everyone. As you all know, we... Uh, wait, ma'am. Wait, ma'am. Oh, I think uh, because she's is she's in her auntie's house, no? So. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay, are you ready, Mahin? Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. As we all know, that keeping our teeth is very important. We should uh, we should keep we should brush our teeth twice a day once uh, once uh, before sleeping and then after the breakfast before the breakfast right yeah my hair would you like yeah keeping teeth stronger makes them keeping teeth clean makes them stronger for longer Today, Dr. Uh, Fauzia Alzard is with us to us to let us know about how important teeth hygiene is. Let's welcome her with a big round of applause. Thank you. My hair she finished already. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so today, thank you there. <laughs> Another round. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Mahin. Thank you. Thank you, Mahin. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, may I call on Ms. Uh, Gopika? From, yes. Uh, thank you for the vote of thanks, Gopika. Thank you. Good afternoon to all. On behalf of the Royal Academy Edgeman, it's my privilege to propose proposed vote of thanks on this occasion. My heart fills with lots of gratitude and respect for our distinguished guest, Dr. Fauzia Alzad, for not only sparing their invaluable time for us to grace this occasion, but also for 
enlightening as with their commendable topic you have indeed put best you are efforts to make this even unforgettable even thank you all for cooperating and making our program successful event thank you thank, thank you miss simma thank you thank you miss gopika so now may i request everybody to please stand up for the international anthem yeah. uma mama are you going to play that for us yes 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 okay thank you i'll share one moment I couldn't share actually. Ah there you go. We can see it in your screen man. ಗಣಮನ ಅಧಿನಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಪಂಜಾಬ್ ಸಿಂಧ್ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಮರಾಠ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ಉತ್ಕಳ ಬಂಗಿಂಜ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಯಮುನಾ ಗಂಗ ಉಚ್ಚಲ ಜಲಧಿ ತರಂಗ ತವ ಶುಭ ನಾಮೆ ಜಾಗೆ ತವ ಶುಭ ಆಶಿಷ ಮಾಗೆ ಗಾಹೆ ತವ ಜಯ ಗಾಧ ಜನ ಗಣ ಮಂಗಳ ದಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಪಂಜಾಬ್ ಸಿಂಧ್ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಮರಾಠ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ಉತ್ಕಳ ಬಂಗ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ ಯಮುನಾ ಗಂಗ ಉಚ್ಚಲ ಜಲಧಿ ತರಂಗ ತವ ಶುಭ ನಾಮೆ ಜಾಗೆ ತವ ಶುಭ ಆಶಿಷ ಮಾಗೆ ಗಾಹೆ ತವ ಜಯ ಗಾಧ ಜನ ಗಣ ಮಂಗಳ ದಾಯಕ ಜಯ ಹೇ ಭಾರತ ಭಾಗ್ಯ ವಿಧಾತ ಜಯ 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 ಓಕೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ವೀಕೆಂಡ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸಿಯಾ thank you so much for giving this opportunity and i will thank everyone in the royal academy school thank Special you ma'am. thank you so much